ever thought about investing in Calgary downtown condos was a gold mine? Think again. I'm, div- I'm diving deep into why Calgary's downtown condos are potentially the worst investment you can make right now. I'm Tim Mangott, CIA Realty, and to my channel, Everything Real Estate. Now, from condo fees to plummeting rental yields, we're going to uncover the truth behind the glossy brochures and prime location promises. This is a reality check you can't afford to miss. Now, if you're thinking about where to put your hard-earned money or just curious about the real estate markets in and out, contact me. Let's navigate the tricky waters of investment together and make informed decisions that truly pay off. Now, this is a map of Calgary downtown. The blue line is the border. and All the all these little triangles are all the condos for sale in downtown area. Approximately, there's 269 units for sale right now as we speak. What I'll do is next, I'll take a look at the results here, basically telling me the highest price condo is $4.68 million and the lowest price is $138,000 here. Next, I'm going to take a look at sort of the stats of overall the properties here. And what's going to show you is just on the average, the medium a number for 268 is basically two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Medium meaning that's the same number of units below and same number of units above. So the medium is that the average, that's the price here. So there's same number of units that are below 449 and same number of units above 449. Average square foot is 552 days on market. It's been on for 20 days and the total days it's been on about 24 days. So all fairly new markets. Next, we're going to take a look at the aspect of the the sold and the list price here. Our final piece is let's take a look at the solds. Now, what I did is I changed the criteria and I said, show me all the solds the last 30 days. 183 units have sold in the last 30 days there. So approximately quite a few, high number do get sold and 289. So uh, a little over 50%. Okay. That's all the sold in the last 30 days. Now, what I can do is also take a look at the results and let's take a look at, so they start from 158,000 that were sold and go all the way up to $2 million. Now, if we take a look at the stats there compared to the stats that were for listed, let's take a look at that. So out of 183 homes, the medium is interesting. There's two beds, two, two beds and one bathroom. The medium in the, for list price was a two beds, two bathrooms. Now, the list price, the average medium sold price is three thirty nine, dollars uh, quite a bit down from the four fifty five dollars that was for list price there. Now, here's the big difference here. It goes down. It's less than 500 square feet. So, the average list price was over five thirty three, dollars and now the sold price is below 500 square feet, meaning it's quite a drop uh, price-wise there. Now, they are getting close to 100% price there if you're in the three thirty nine dollars range. You can see higher numbers. This has been on the market for a long time. So the average sold price per square foot is 433. The average list price is 533. So it's quite a drop there. Now these are the stats compiled for downtown city center condos. If we take a look at it here, we can see that the benchmark price is 345,700. Benchmark price basically means it's the same type of property. So we can see in the last 10 months here, the first graph here, I'm not sure, hopefully you can see it, but really it's saying what it's done is that this is the monthly increase and decreases. Month to month is hard to uh, verify real estate because it does vary summer months and seasonal is very important as well. So it does affect it. Main thing for you to know is that it's marginal increases every month. And last year there's even decreases in the Calgary condo downtown renters. Just marginal increases, which is surprising because the rest of Calgary is increasing quite a bit. Now, if we take a look at the trend over the last uh, over the last uh, nine years, we can see that one, two, three, four, five for six years it decreased. In fact, there was by 2020 there was a two-year supply of condos. Now that is slowly being up here, and you do see the price increases from 21 on. 
this is giving you an, a net percentage of 7.53 over eight years. Basically, you lost money if you bought any time between 2015 and 2020. Now, you are gaining money. Of, your property is increasing if you bought in 2021, and some people are deciding to uh, cash out. I'm going to do another video on that. Okay. Now, if we compare that to the rest of Calgary, it's 11.74 over the same years, meaning the downtown city condos are not as popular as condos outside of, of the downtown core, which is surprising. I think COVID changed a lot of that as well. And if we just took a look at the, the demand and supply, obviously, if as an investor, you want hard, you want a large demand, low supply, or you can uh, be a contrarian and say, you know what, I'm going I'm to buy into this and ride it out for the long term. Really, if you're selling as an investor you've got a bit what it's saying is that you've got a 66 percent chance here of selling it three out of ten homes do not get sold and that's for whatever reason basically the prices don't the seller's prices are not met not met to his expectations average days on market is 32 days which is pretty standard in calgary except for detach where it's less than 20 days okay and in summary that hopefully that give you a good viewpoint of calgary downtown condos all right, now I also go to rent faster to for, for further analysis. Here I can basically I look for what income I'll be receiving from my properties. Now, area we're concentrating is downtown condos. Basically, I call it the Beltline area, and this is the apartment condo in Calgary, two bedroom, two bathroom. That's my criteria, unfurnished, and I've selected the community Beltline there. It's telling me rent faster is the Average is 2145. So we'll use that number uh, to calculate our return. Now, if I take a look at the price distribution, basically it's telling me most of the properties, uh, two bedroom, two bathrooms, rent from all the way down from 1400 all the way up to 2900 But we'll use the average of 2145 here. Now, I also like to look at the number of listings historically just to let me know what's happened in the past that way i can predict what's going to happen in the future here now if i see that i'm going to go by i'll just take three months here i can see that the number of listings has increased the green air quite a bit okay from the previous year i can see that last year's 3741 listings and this year's 5460 so definitely the supply is catching up even if i go from five years ago I can see the high listings there, 2019, 64, 7,000 listings in 2019. I know eventually we're going to get up to that again. The market, capital market will do that. There's lot, too much building going on there. So I know the supply will increase. This is telling me here. Now, if we take a look at the price here, this is quite interesting here, okay? You can see the green. It's how quickly from previous years, the last three, four years, it's really dramatically going up. But as you can see, starting to even out. Prices are starting to even out here, and there's not much differences uh, going there. So moving forward, uh, the prices seem to be able to stabilize. There. Now, the last part, which is quite interesting, is for a rental market, how long does it take to rent out a property? Right now, we can see that it says it takes, on the average, to 27 days to rent out a property. Last year, it took 43 days, which is quite interesting. I just need to go back a few years, show you, before COVID, it used to take 74 months. It used to take three months to rent out a property. Now, this potentially could happen again, but most likely not. But you just never know. Obviously, during COVID 2020, it took three, four months. Most of the places stayed empty. So in summary, what Rent Faster ad is telling me is that, yes, the rents are 2145 and they're, they're not to be expected to increase that much this year. Now, it's not all bad news here. I use Net Calculator to determine my monthly return on uh, investment and also for five years as well. Now, we know the average price is three forty-five. dollars If I put down 20% interest rate of five two nine, dollars uh, long term, long term, 25 years, and closing cost $2,500. I put all the expenses here. Uh, basically, just the averages there. And we know the rent is $2,145. An increase we... It's 3%. I'll even put it down to 2% just to be on the safe side, okay? Now, if we calculate that there, we are getting returns here. Let's see. See, it's not all that bad. We are getting cap rate of 6%. Cash on cash, 
and internal rate of return 10.6 there. Your cash flow is not bad, 143 uh, per month for the year 1721. If you have to or you want to buy a condo in there, you are going to make some money. There's no doubt about it right now, presently. The criteria you have to be, two things you have to be aware of. With supply increasing, your income, the monthly rent could go down. And that's a, a risk factor that you'll have to just consider. The good part is the mortgages of payments and interest rates might go down as well. So that's a variables that we don't know about. So that is the good part there. You do cash flow a little bit there. Long term, I'm not so sure. So after five years, you're going to get a, uh, a net uh, of putting your money in of $71,000. you are going to make uh, close to 100% or 62% return on your money. And that's not bad. So there's some good parts to it. All right. I hope that helps everybody. Please, I welcome your feedback. And anytime you want to contact me, uh, just comment below. Thank you.